All right, we'll see how this works. I don't know if it'll work or not, but yeah, okay. Number two, um, GoDaddy number two. Yes, yeah, so we still haven't put the website back up. I've changed the directories that were in violation or whatever, that were criminal murderers or, f or file appropriateness behavior. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they, they forced me to basically say word for word, you know, that I agree to the terms of service as if I had somehow violated the terms of service in some sort of realistic or real way, which is really irritating. And um, so it was all hanging on this little email statement that I say these exact words the way they force you to say them. Um, but they still haven't restored the website, so who knows. I, I canceled my extra years that I had purchased, so I've obliged them to give me a refund for that. So by February, hopefully I'll be off of their servers and get my domain names all moved somewhere else, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But that's all you can do. What else can you do to fight these bastards? Uh, I mean, it's just this is just so obnoxious. So anyway, I'll show you. Um, well, first let's let's do the file since the page is convenient. And right, we're going to do this camera moving thing. It should be fun, right? It should be. All right, so this is all I could find on the GoDaddy support site. See, they never told me about this file limit in any way. They never warned me, never said anything. So anyway, this is what it says. How many files can be can a shared hosting directory hold? I, I suppose I'm supposed to look this up. It is not in the terms of service. It isn't anywhere important. It's only been viewed 27 times or something. Um, I mean, it's only been remarked on. Yeah, 27 people found this helpful. 27. Uh, your shared hosting account directories can hold up to 1,024 files. This limit prevents customer file structures from taxing the server's resources and negatively affecting load time. If you have more than 1,024 files in a directory, you might receive it out of disk space when trying to add or create files in that directory. Well, you might, right? But no, I didn't receive anything like that ever. Uh, this doesn't mean that your entire hosting account is exceeding disk space only that the directory has. You can avoid this issue by splitting directories with many files into subdirectories. Well, duh, but I can't do it if a template web <laughs> software is, I can't rewrite that software. And by pruning any cache or thumbnail directories your site uses manually or with a con Quran job. I don't know what a Quran job is even. I'm supposed to know what that fucking is. Um, and it doesn't work on Quip Bucket anyway, whatever that Quran jobby stuff is. Um, but anyway, this was, you know, <laughs> yeah, you could just kill the thumbnails in the uh, on the website. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, we will warn customers. We will warn customers. We will warn customers exceeding this limit and may relocate files to maintain server performance. We will warn customers. Okay, so there's no warning. They draconianly punished me. They took my site down and um, and then gave me no FTP access to the site and told me I have to fix the problem. And so I had to use their FTP software on their website and I can only move 50 files at a time. So that's what they forced me to do, these bastards. Um, however, your hosting account cannot hold more than 500 files. Okay, so there's nothing in here about we'll take your website down, you'll, we'll, we'll put up for, uh, forbidden notices, um, we'll treat you like absolute shit, like you're a motherfucking criminal. No, no, no statements like that here. Uh, liars. Fucking cunt liars. Um, Alright, so here's the original email. So this, this is really entertaining. Um, okay, so regarding your hosting account, inmedium.com, inmedium has been found to be in violation of Section 3, your obligations of the GoDaddy web, uh, virtual agreement, right? The relevant passage of this agreement has been provided below. Here we go, in quotes. You shall not use the service in any way in GoDaddy's sole discretion that shall impair the function or operation of GoDaddy services or equipment. So, so it was my use of the service by, by installing publicly available software for which there's no warning that you maybe shouldn't install software because it's going to create a directory that might have thumbnails in it. Um, that was my misuse. That was somehow a use that I did to the service. Well, anyway, I mean, the that's what's implied here. Go, you know, but anyway, it doesn't say anything specific here. GoDaddy's web hosting and virtual dedicated hosting service agreement is located following URL. So this is what, this is it. You shall not use the service in any way 
<laughs> that shall impair the functioning or operation of GoDaddy services or equipment. Again, I, I didn't. What the hell did I do? I had this website. I had the same website for whatever it was, five years with them. Um, and uh, there was no problem. And all of a sudden, now there's a problem. And that's my problem. I'm, I'm at fault because I did exactly the same thing for five years. Anyway, your Minimum.com website currently has an improperly configured directory structure. More specifically, the following directories have exceeded the maximum 10,024 files. Um, customer is contributing to high load on the server due to constraint requests to files and directories with when, when violation, com, perms, whatever they need address. Anyway, so here's, here's, here's what they sent me. All right, so there's one. This 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 folder doesn't even e exist. This check. So I don't know what check means. I think check means that this is the number that that you can't exceed. But okay, so this is already misleading. Okay, so here's one. So this one's four files. Oh, two files over. HTM, right? Well, there's the L down here. They see there's these stupid idiots. That the L's down here. Uh, so it's HTML. So this is the domain, the, the 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 top of the directory structure. So the top of the directory structure was two files over the limit. All right, but this L goes up there. And so then this file, this folder isn't really VD upload. It's VD upload two. This two belongs here. So this is another misprint. So this wasn't 23,000 files in this directory. It was only 3,000 files in this directory. So this two belongs over here. The I belongs over. The L belongs over here. So this is only. This was only four or five files over. This one was thousand files over. But I mean, it's it was the basic directory dog for my do not god um, website. Um, dot com. So all my FLV files were in there. Um, uh, so this one's whatever another ten files whatever over the limit. So th these are the clip bucket CB. So these are all the clip bucket. Um, uh, directories that that went over the limit. So the comments, the user feeds, and the thumbnails all went over the limit. And this is well over 28, right? So I got no warning. So so they let it go over, and it was over for uh, over a thousand, over 1,800 files over the limit. And I got no warnings. I got no nothing. They just closed me down and send me this misprinted email, right? All right. So anyway, the amount of files, folder locations are affecting our hosting administrator's ability to efficiently back up the site. Is advice. It is adversely impact. You know, backing up the site is adversely impacting performance and global maintenance, exceeding blah blah blah. So this is all their bullshit, right? This is their problem, not everybody's problem on the internet. Um, we understand. Look at this. We understand that this misconfiguration was not intentional. We understand that this misconfiguration was not intentional. Then why the fuck did you treat me like a goddamn criminal? Why do you take down my website? All right, send me this uh, ambiguous e uh, notice of some violation I've committed, and then not even give me access to correct the violation that wasn't even a violation that you were supposed to warn me about. As such, we respectfully request that you reduce the file folder count within the above directories to less than uh, 21,024 total files and folders combined. Again, I had no access to the website. Can't even do what they're requesting. Um, all right, due to the serious important due to the serious nature of the situation, your site is scheduled to be suspended if you do not take immediate action. Your site is eligible for suspension on November 26, 2012. Well, then why was it suspended on November uh, 21st, 2012? Uh, you want to explain that to me, please? Criminals? Crooks? Bums? Fucking rude bastards? You want to explain why what was supposed to happen on the 26th happened on the 21st? And I wasn't even given a warning or notice about any of this crap? Uh, to avoid this suspension, not only must you correct the directory misconfiguration, you must also reply this notice with an email message containing the statement outlone, outlined below. Why? Why must I do this? To imply that I'm guilty of something? Oh, that's right. Yeah, extortion. Okay, you're just extorting a statement out of me. This shouldn't be legal, you fucking crooks. Um, one, a statement that you have re viewed and agreed to abide by the terms of the GoDaddy web hosting and dedicated service agreement. Yeah, I've already agreed to it, okay? And I did my conscientious best to 
do what I'm supposed to be responsible for. All right, if you had given me notice of my responsibility to reduce these, these directories or told me of this rule or posted it someplace that I had reason to see, well, then you'd have an argument. But you have no fucking argument, you rude motherfucking bastards. Uh, two, a statement that you will immediately reduce the combined file folder count within the above directories to less than 1,024. Well, a statement that I'll immediately do it or else what? You've already taken my website down, fuckers. Uh, I either comply or what? Oh, you'll take my website down? We already did that, asshole. Uh, after providing the above statement, you fly, you must immediately follow through with your commitment. Yeah, well, I've already committed to the commitment. I did the commitment. I told you I did the commitment. I completed your, your requirements, and you still haven't put my damn website back online, you motherfuckers. Jesus, you crooks. All right, um... If you have any questions on the mess, you might make comply. Okay, wait, wait. So I called this jackass number like five times now because I had no FTP. First, I had to get FTP access to the goddamn website so I could goddamn make the goddamn changes. <sighs> Just amazing criminals. Fucking criminals. <laughs> yeah, really. All these corporations, you know. Yeah, no, no, this is time for a really good Saturday Night Live sketch or something. They all must go. <laughs> it's kill my landlord time. These bastards, these fucking goddamn bastards. How do they, I, you know, it's just amazing. Amazing. This, this rude, just fucking rude cunts. <laughs> Jesus. You take your money and they're rude to you. You pay them to be rude? Fuck you. I ain't paying you to be rude. Okay. I better quit because we're at 12 minutes. So it'll fail soon. So YouTube sucks. Google sucks. GoDaddy sucks. Verizon sucks. I mean, there's just no choices. It's just nothing. We got to get rid of this corporatocracy. We got to kill the corporations. Fuck this shit. These unaccountable bastards. Or else we got to install judges who will actually hear cases against these bastards for lying and cheating. <laughs>